Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new, hi, I'm Phoebe. And if you're not, then welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a how well do my Instagram followers know me, but I'm gonna do a bit of a twist on it and I've actually made it a dance edition because I haven't talked much about dance on my channel and it is a massive part of my life. So I thought, why not have my new followers get to know me a little bit more but also with the dance thrown in. So I did 20 polls on my Instagram about my dance life and what my favorite things were to do and all things like that. And a lot of you voted on them. So let's get into the video. So question number one was, do I prefer to watch a musical or a ballet? And 90% of you said a musical and 10% of you said a ballet. And I'm so glad because that is correct. I absolutely love to go and watch musicals, honestly, it's one of my favourite things to do. I do like watching ballets, but just not as much as musicals. Musicals just, they make my heart happy, so you got that one right. Question number two was, do I prefer to dance commercial or tap? Now, I'm quite surprised that you guys actually put these answers because I thought it was obvious. 39% of you said that you thought that I preferred to dance commercially and 61% thought that I preferred to dance tap and you guys are right. I absolutely love tap, it's my favourite style ever to dance and yeah, I just love it. I love commercial too, it's probably my second favourite style but um, tap will always be my favourite, I love it so much. Question number three, now this is quite a trick question after the one we just did, and this is, do I prefer to go to a commercial class or a tap class? 71% of you said a commercial class and 29% of you said a tap class. And yeah, I prefer to go to a commercial class because I find it so much fun. I always love the vibe that's going on and I just love learning commercial, but then I love performing tap. So yeah little bit of a trip question but you got it right question number four was do i prefer to dance musical theater jazz or tech jazz this one you guys got right i'm happy 83 percent of you said musical theater and 17 percent of you said tech you're right musical theater jazz oh i love it so much i love facials I love just being stagey because I'm stagey, so yeah, love that. I love tech jazz too, like get me in a tech jazz lesson with loads of corner work and I am a happy girl, but I do definitely prefer dance and musical theatre routines. Question number five was do I prefer dancing bar work or centre work in ballet? This is quite a close one too, but you still got it right. 32% of you said that you thought I preferred bar work and then 68% of you thought I preferred centre work and I definitely prefer centre work. I much prefer turning and jumping and adage and stuff like that rather than bar work. I actually find bar work quite boring. Sod. Question number six. I think this is quite an obvious one and you guys definitely got it right. And it was, do I prefer to wear a sports bra or a leotard? And I prefer to wear a sports bra. 82% of you said sports bra and 18% of you said a leotard. I feel like I look better in a sports bra compared to a leotard. I feel like a leotard makes my body look quite short because I've got quite long legs. Um, but then again, I do love a good leotard and I will always opt for a leotard if I'm doing jazz or whatever. Love it. But yeah. Sports bra, all the way. Question number seven is also quite an obvious one. Do I prefer to wear shorts or tights slash leggings? 68% of you thought shorts and 32% of you thought tights or leggings and I do prefer wearing shorts. As you can see, I like to be free. I've got shorts on right now. I just love shorts and even in winter I do sometimes wear shorts um, for dancing in. I don't know, I just prefer it. I feel like tights sometimes like make my legs feel like they're suffocating. Is that just me? I prefer to wear tights with a leotard though, that's for sure. Question eight, turns or jumps? 
I had to think about this one myself because I don't actually know which one I prefer. 56% of you said turns and 44% of you said jumps and that is such a close call and honestly I'd probably say ah I don't know I actually don't know I prefer them both the same I like turning but I also really like jumping I don't have an answer for that one I should have got an answer shouldn't I Question number nine, am I a righty or a lefty? Well, I'm surprised that some people actually picked the opposite for this because mate, if you know me, only one of my legs goes up and the other one doesn't. I think it's got something wrong with it 100%. It must be because it's not normal for it to not be this flexible. 76% of you said righty and 24% of you said lefty. I am 100% a righty. I can only do splits on my right, I can only kick my right well, <laughs> um, I can only tilt with my right. My left hamstring is about this short, 100%, so yeah, I'm a righty, but obviously I do still do things on my left. Next question, this one was also quite a controversial one. When did I start dancing? When I was two years old or when I was four years old? 62% of you said two and 38% of you said four. And I actually started dancing when I was two years old and I was a little bubba. If I can get a picture, I'll put one on the screen and if I can find it. But I was literally like as wide as I was tall and I was all chunky and really cute and I was in a little tutu. It was cute, really cute. But yeah, I started doing theatre craft because at the time at my dancing school you could only do theatre craft until you were four and then you could start things like tap. But yeah, that's what it was like in the olden days. How crazy. Next one is one that people actually got wrong. When did I start assisting? When I was 13 years old or 15 years old? 49% of you said 13 and 51% of you said 15. I'll give you a minute, have a think. What one do you think it is? 13. I started assisting when I was 13. I did it as part of my DOV training and then I just continued it because I loved it so, so much. I used to help out my dancing school on a Friday night. I used to volunteer and it was so much fun. I honestly am so grateful that I did that and had the opportunity to because I don't think I'd be a dance teacher without that today if I'm honest. Next question you also got wrong, when did I start teaching? When I was 15 or when I was 18? 38% of you said 15 and 62% of you said 18. And the answer is actually 15. I started teaching when I was 15, I was covering classes when I was 15 and then I also did Lover School Dance Club which was at my school. I used to teach that, I actually taught that from when I was about 14 I think. I can't remember but like I probably started teaching it when I was 15 I was in year 10 and it became like my thing um, because my dance teacher had left at the time and kind of passed it down to me so yeah that's when I started teaching and if you're thinking 18 you're probably thinking like my own classes I actually didn't start teaching them till I was 19 so tricked you there this one from the age of 12 to 15, what did I want to become? A dance teacher or a dietitian? 62% of you thought a dance teacher and 38% of you said a dietitian. I actually wanted to become a dietitian at that age. How crazy is that? I didn't think I was good enough to be a dancer at the time and I didn't really have a passion for teaching it. Like I always loved doing it but and I knew that I really loved doing it, but it wasn't like, oh my goodness, I want to do this as a career. From the ages of 15 to 17, what did I want to become? A dancer or a dance teacher? This was also wrong. 70% of you thought a dancer and 30% of you thought a dance teacher. This is then when I decided that I really wanted to become a dance teacher after volunteering for two years. I realised how much I actually wanted to become one and I got a job as a dance assistant teacher and 
I was just loving it so so much and I thought well if I can't pursue my dream to be a dancer I'm gonna be a dance teacher and inspire others so yeah that's that in my last year of Dimensions Dance Company which was when I was 17 to 18 so I was second year of college what did I want to become a dance teacher or a dancer this one's also wrong what <laughs> 51% of you said a dance teacher and 49% of you said a dancer. I wanted to become a dancer. I realised that actually I could become a dancer and I had improved massively at college um, with training like eight hours a day or however many hours it was. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, yeah, I decided that. So then I auditioned for loads of different dance colleges and wanted to basically become a dancer and be on the West End, in commercials, all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I no longer wanted to be a dance teacher. I thought to myself, I will probably become a dance teacher once my dance career ends, because your dance career doesn't last that long, because obviously you get old. Question number 16. What are my plans now? To stick with teaching or to train as a dancer whilst teaching? 41% of you said to stick with teaching and 59% of you said to train as a dancer again. And you're right, I want to still be training as a dancer again. I'm going to start training again hopefully soon. Um, but also still stick with my teaching, stick with my company and yeah, I want to still inspire others whilst I'm learning myself still because I feel like it's really, really important to do that. And I absolutely love teaching and I wouldn't change it for the world. So... I definitely wouldn't want to just stop that altogether. So, you guys are right on that one. Number 17. Okay, this is one that me, myself as a teacher, looks for. So, do I prefer flexibility in facials or technique and facial? 37% of you said flexibility in facials and 63% of you said technique and facials. And I 100% prefer to look for technique and facials. I want all the passion, all the love, all the facials, but I would rather have technique over flexibility, 100%. Question number 18. When did I hold my first ever PS dance class? Was it in May or April? 48% of you thought it was in May, and 52% of you thought it was in April. And you're right, I actually did my first ever one in April, and it was a one-off and I just wanted to see how many people came and if people actually even wanted to turn up and then it became a proper thing in May. So a little bit of a trick question but I did hold my first ever one in April. Number 19, this is another one as a teacher myself. Do I prefer to teach contemporary or commercial jazz? Like what is my favourite style to teach? 35% of you said contemporary and 65% of you said commercial jazz. You're wrong. I prefer to teach contemporary. I absolutely love contemporary as a dance style and I love creating a story with it and I love teaching young dancers to use their body in a different way and to tell a story whilst they're dancing and to just really connect with the music and with the story behind it and that sort of thing. I feel like contemporary you can really, really pull your heart out. And I just love watching dancers really come out of their comfort zone and do that. So yeah, I do still love teaching commercial jazz, of course, but contemporary is my go-to. Like if somebody asked me to teach a style of dance, I would 100% be teaching contemporary. Last question. Will dance be a part of my life for the rest of my time on this earth? 92% of you said, hell yeah and 8% of you said probably not. Hell yeah it will. Even when I'm 80, I'll be going to like club a size or something. Um, yeah, it will always be a part of my life. It has always been, and I couldn't think of anything different really, to be honest. I won't obviously be teaching when I'm older. When I say I'm older, when I mean like when I'm 70. <laughs> and I definitely won't be dancing, but might catch me in like an old lady salsa class or something, I don't know. In conclusion, I'd probably give you guys a 7 out of 10 for that. I'd say 
that was a pretty good effort. And you know me pretty well, I'd say. Some of them were trick questions and you had to really think about it. But I really, really hope you enjoyed taking part in this little video. I had so much fun. It was so much fun. And it's nice to know that you guys actually do know me pretty well. And even if, as a whole, you got the question wrong, loads of you still got it right. So that's the main thing. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe already if you haven't. I'd really, really appreciate it. I can't believe we've hit 900 subscribers. I'm actually shook to the core. I'm shook. I can't believe it. I never thought doing something as a hobby, people would actually want to watch it and take part in things like this. It's pretty crazy and I'm happy. So yeah. Anyway, that's it from me and I will see you in my next video.